I was having a wonderful <clears throat> Sunday morning. By the way, how many of you out there watching this for the first time because you just bought a new espresso machine at home? So we are talking about Bravo Barista Express, Pro, <clears throat> even Touch perhaps. Uh, the <clears throat> excuse me, uh, machine with a built-in grinder. So uh, anyway, so this morning I'm going to show you guys in live, okay? Because sometimes whenever I watch like edited videos on how-to videos, some, sometimes I just cut out a like, you know, <clears throat> the uh, step that it may not be necessary for the video, but I know and, uh, and comes to the viewer's point of view, you guys might want to see it. So this, uh, so this case, I'm, not, I'm, I'm just going to show you in a live session. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'll uh, show you guys how I dialed in. Okay, if you are struggling with, <clears throat> excuse me, Brista Express, uh, this is a good video to watch. Okay, hold on. Let me have some, let me get some water first here. By the way, if you are new to the channel, welcome to our daily live. We go live pretty much every single morning, uh, any, uh, anywhere between like 8 to 9 p.m. Uh, by the way, uh, just make sure to join the chat, okay? We have a live chat going on <clears throat> to the side. We have a great group of a community here. So we got, I see Justin is on. We have Linda and Thomas. So yeah, so ju just make sure to hang out, introduce yourself, have some fun. That's all we do. We just talk about coffee in the morning. Okay, so if you are new to the Bravo machine, especially Pro, the Pro laid out pretty nicely through menu buttons, okay? So let's say if you just got it, you don't know what number you want to start with your grinder setting. So what I, I usually do is, here, let me flip the camera here. So it comes to grinder setting, they go all the way up to 30, okay? And they go all the way down to one. So my thing is, I like to start with around 15 first. Okay, I like to start with the number 15. And uh, you guys see this knob here? So this is the knob for how long the built-in grinder is running. 21 seconds, this is by half seconds. So the, uh, since I'm doing the single dose, single dose means I measure out usually 18 grams. So this hopper is empty. I like to usually measure out, usually 18 gram, put the 18 gram at a time. So, so on average about gram per second for Bravo machine. So around 18 gram takes about, about 18 seconds or so, 18 or 19. I like to run about 20 seconds, so just make sure you get the, all the coffee grinds out. And then comes to other program, so, I'm using the standard shot, okay? You got standard or single shot, double shot. Here's a temperature section here. I set a default. I know some people like, uh, let me show you how to change the temperature here. Some people like to, uh, so, so here's the default temperature, it's around like 200 degree. Go plus two and plus four. That's all about two degree increment. So I, I like to set a default temperature, okay? And then once it's done, just press it and we should be good to go. Uh, okay, come to setting wise. <clears throat> so that's my setting there. Again, so it comes to grind. I, I like to always do double. If you want to change the single, just press the button. This button here, change to the, change the timer. Just like so. Again, we're going to do double. So this morning, I know some of you out there just bought this machine and usually go to like grocery store, or even like Starbucks or Costco, get your, so usually get a dark roast, okay, medium to dark. And so what, I, so here's what I'm going to do for you. So I'm, I have this uh, dark roast from Good Brothers Coffee here. Uh, it's called Liquid Amber. It's really dark. Uh, looking at the tasting notes, hold on a second, tasting note is caramel, spice, and creamy, which means creamy. Uh, it should have a lot of crema should come out. So, so let's dial, dial this one in this morning, okay? And I already, so we're gonna measure out 18 gram. Okay, by the way, if you just got this machine, give yourself a favor, get some kind of uh, dosing mat. Okay, so mat is really handy, all right? Make sure you get the mat. 
if you haven't purchased yet, uh, just get yourself a you know, holiday gift to yourself. Mat is good. If you don't have a scale, I highly recommend scale. You don't have to buy anything fancy. Since uh, Brista Pro, especially Pro or Touch has a built-in timer built-in. So yeah, just get the uh, scale. So this is about what, $9 from uh, Amazon. If you wanna go really fancy, you can go with Akaya, but yeah, doesn't matter. So get yourself scale, I highly recommend it. Because whatever you're trying to dial in espresso, especially espresso, you wanna eliminate the uh, availables, okay? So if you are dosing 18 gram, you wanna dose 18 gram. Uh, and the timer, you know what, uh, let me explain to you when, I, when we start making coffee. And pretty much, that's all, all the tools you need. Uh, comes to Bravo machine, give you a built-in <clears throat> temper, but so this is uh, kind of, I upgrade to San Antonio industry. That's also another gift idea. But yeah, pretty much the only thing you need is definitely recommend the tamping mat and scale. Any chip scale is fine. Uh, if you want to play with the bottomless port filter, you could do that, but you know what? In the beginning, I'm not, you know, I'm, I'm gonna show you for my second shot, but it's not necessary. And uh, if you wanna go really dive into espresso, you can make yourself WDT tools like this. This is a wine cork and a uh, acupuncture needle, okay? And uh, you could buy uh, like 3D print if you wanted to, or if your friends or family has uh, any kind of 3D print, you can print yourself as well. And then let's see here. If, now, if you're gonna go really, really fancy, uh, one of the vendors I know, you can actually make custom, okay? WDT tour as well, has my logo on it, Queen's Coffee. Anyway, so it, again, I mean, the fact is how much you spend your time on your coffee, or you know, how, you know, how much time you want, how much money you, if you wanna spend, there's no limit, it comes to, comes to your hobby here. But we're not gonna do that. We're just gonna pull the shot, okay? I'm gonna be dosing out 18 gram. And then uh, I'm gonna show you my process. Hopefully this video helps to someone out there really struggle with your machine. Because most likely you bought this machine in a Black Friday or you know, for the holiday season. So yeah, just if you are struggling with it, okay, do not return it yet, okay? Just make sure give yourself <clears> at <throat> least month to yourself. But again, hopefully this live session help you. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, I'm watching your uh, comments right now to the side there. Unfortunately, I cannot read it closely, but yeah. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know after this session. So let's get going. I'm just going to measure out 18 gram. Very simple. I'm not doing anything fancy. Okay. So I got 18 gram here. Okay. Let's find out we're gonna get 18 gram out first. Because this is not a single dose machine. So this is just a hopper and I put 18 gram in and hopefully I'm gonna get 18 gram out. So again, my grinder sitting at number 15. So the reason why I choose 15, because it's one through 30, right? For the grinder, the range. So I always start with the middle. Okay, it doesn't matter what kind of coffee beans I'm using. Start with the middle first. And then see what happens there. So we're gonna do some grind some coffee beans. And I'm gonna show you what I do and You gonna hear that noise? I, I like just tap it like, like just like so, just tap it. Okay, just get the, all the coffee grinds out. Kind of like suction cup type. I mean, you could buy a single dose funnel if you wanted to. There's a modification out there, but. So we got 18 gram in here. We got 18.8 .8 gram out. Okay, guess what, which means uh, about 0.8 gram hiding somewhere. Uh, 
earlier this morning. So I know my, one of my family members made coffee this morning. So, so I'm going to, you know what, let's be precise, okay? So I'm just going to take about 0.8 gram out. Just like so. I'm just, you don't have to do this if you don't want to, but. <clears throat> so now we have 18 gram here. So I, got, I, I took out the 0.8 gram. The reason why I like to take exact 18 gram, based on, so if we pull the shot now, if it's too fast or too slow, we know what to change next time. Okay, we know what to change. If it's too slow, uh, there's a couple ways to slow down the shot. Okay, up your grind, uh, the dosing amount, or change your grinder size. So, is a, so you want to be consistent with every single shot. Okay, so now we have 18 gram here. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna use my spouted. Just gonna heat up my pore filter. The thing is, you want you, you want everything is nice and hot. By the way, Bravo Vista, uh, Bravo Vista Pro, it doesn't get hot. Using the thermal jet, not like Brista Express you have. Brista Express, if you want to warm it up for 20 minutes, you're gonna get a nice hot group head. But not with the Pro. I'm just gonna give you a dummy shot here. I'm just gonna go like this. So this is a dosing cup from Crema. Fits into 54 millimeter. Just gonna shake it a little bit. Okay, so now we have 18 gram in your portal filter. Okay, at this point you can temp it. Uh, if not, I know some of you out there have some any kind of distribution tool. So use your distribution tool. So this one is a San Antonio Industry distribution tool. Pretty nice, but this one, I highly recommend this, okay? It's about what, 75, 70, or uh, $80 for the temper. Fits into right, it's precise, 53.3 millimeter instead of a 53 millimeter, millimeter for the stock Bravo machine. Yeah. Okay. Just temp it. Someone asked me, what's a good temping pressure? You know what? Doesn't matter. Just be consistent every time, okay? Just consistent every time. You should be fine. All right, and the only thing we got to do is just pull the shot. Comes to pull the shot, just uh, press the sing, uh, double cup button right here. Just lock it in. And then <clears throat> comes the dosing, uh, the yield. Okay, I know you, if, you, if you just got into espresso recently, people talk about the ratios. So I got 18 gram in. Some people like one to two ratio, one to 2.5, one to three. It's all depends on you. Uh, if you don't know what the ratio, if you haven't quite figured it out yet. So if you put 18 gram in, trying to shoot for like between 40 and 45 gram, see what you like. Even, even a 40 and 50 gram, see, okay, see what you like, okay. So during that time, just, you know, just, just experiment with it. So I'm not going to be too concerned about the ratio as long as between 40 and 50, I'm okay with it. So only way to find out is you need to have a scale, right? So that's the reason I want you guys get the scale. Okay, here we go. So let's pull the shot. Let's set this up to zero. Okay. A little dark there, so I'm gonna have my lights. Okay. Uh, at this point, you just simply press the button. That's it. Just let it rip. And the pre-infusion right now, the pre-infusion is like five second pre-infusion on rubber machines. Wow, goodness, 60, almost, almost set, uh, 60 gram, okay, really fast shot. All right, so <clears throat> having said that, 
it tell us a lot of stuff. Okay, that should give us a lot of information. Okay, first of all, it's too fast. And second of all, almost 60 gram. Okay, so it's about what? <clears throat> One to three ratio. So it's about two ounces here. Okay, let's drink this. Okay. By the way, it has lots and lots of crema too. So, okay. Cheers. It's not bad, okay? <clears throat> not bad. I mean, if you guys like kind of Italian style, dark, bold, it's not bitter. Uh, it's not bitter either. So, I mean, but you know, you know what? We can do better, okay? Uh, let, let's do some adjustment and then see what our second shot look like. <clears throat> yeah. So, so, this is kind of like the dialing in process. Uh, by the way, if you're, again, if you're new to the channel, welcome. And uh, I see some people joining the chat here as well. Hold on. Yep. And so what I'm going to do is we're going to do one more shot. This time I'm going to adjust my uh, grinder size. So right now I'm at 15. Looking at the shot, you know what? Maybe like 11, okay? I'm thinking 11. I don't know about you guys, but yeah, let's go with the 11. Right now, I'm at 15. By the way, if you are using the hopper, right, uh, whenever you are going down the grinder size, I, I, I usually emphasize this every single time. Make sure to run the uh, grinder, okay? Because the coffee grind is stuck on the different gears there. Run it. Go down to 11. And stop the uh, grinder. Okay, so just make sure uh, if you're going the grinder size going uh, the lower, make sure run the run the grinder. Okay, so let's do that one more time. So I'm just take the puck out. You know what? Puck is nice and dry. Come right out on one piece. So yeah, and then between the shot, I like to flush. You know, I'm thinking, you know what, this time, let's use the bottomless porter filter, okay, just for fun. I, I think we have the right grinder size here, so. So I have a bottomless porter filter here, so let's play with this. So let's see what, what bottomless shot look like. Okay. Okay, I'm just gonna. This time I'm going to use my 3D dosing funnel here. Uh, I already measured out 18 gram already in you know, a little, little canister. Okay. I'm just gonna tap it like this. Just get all the coffee grinds out. <clears throat> I mean, if you wanna buy one tools for your Bravo machines, definitely scare. I highly recommend it. And this plastic thing here, 3D dosing funnel. Okay, you can get right now. You can get anywhere. You can get it from Amazon or <clears throat> Etsy or if you have a 3D print, you can print yourself as well. Yeah, highly recommend it. And then this time, since I'm using the bottomless, I like to uh, uh, try the WDT technique. I'm just gonna go nice and easy. Just go and just declump everything. Because built-in grinder is not the best. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, I'm just going to shake it a little bit. And uh, again, it comes to tools, just get the, you know, you don't need to get a fancy ones. I'm just gonna temp it. That's it. So let's pull the bottom of the shot here. So this time, we, you know, again, we're trying to get, you know, 18 gram in like around 40 to 45 gram out. Oh, 
Okay, here we go, guys. So let's take a look at this one. Hopefully we dialed in okay. Okay, here I go. There we go, that looks, but okay, there we go. I just simply press the button here. <clears throat> looks pretty good. <clears throat> you see that a lot of crema look like, kind of like donuts, which means a sign of fresh coffee. A lot of CO2 is coming out. So I got 40 gram. Look at that. Okay. I could have waited about a few more days on this one. So that's a lot of CO2. Looks overall, this is a beautiful looking shot there. Because the crema is like CO2 release. So so if I'm gonna try this, we're gonna get a better shot for sure. Okay, smells pretty good. I'm just gonna mix it well. Cheers. It's great. Okay, smooth, well balanced. Not too crazy, but it's definitely delicious. Very nutty. A chocolate definitely chocolate notes creamy yeah they're they're fantastic they're fantastic so oh anyway this video helps i hope because i mean it comes to the dialing process again as you guys saw in live uh start with the middle uh look at the shot start making adjustment there so just make sure go you know just take your time and then uh once you get the good beans picked out uh trying to get the fresh fresh as uh, uh, coffee as possible, uh, especially if you go to a store bought, it's hard to get a fresh coffee beans from the store, but even like local roaster, if you have one, just order some medium roast, medium to dark. I think that's the easier to dial than in the beginning. So start with that, start to medium to uh, medium to dark, and then just have some fun with it. Uh, let's see here. Is there anybody has question for me this morning? I'm not sure, but anyway, uh, if you have any questions or comment, let me know in the comment section. Now, I, you know what? I don't usually read the comment anyway, so uh, if you have any questions, let me know. Hold on a second here. Okay, so what I'm going to do is uh, let me jump into Instagram. Hold on. Ryan is asking something. I don't know what he's asking, but yeah, I saw Ryan has some question. Oh, anyway, so what I'm, uh, by the way, if you guys have missed my last week uh, live streaming, so we had a, a bracket challenge. So eight players send us copy beans from pretty much all over the world. Okay. We got players from Canada, Australia, whole bunch of from uh, United States. Yeah. So it is a lot of fun. I get to uh, try the one of best coffee I ever had in a long time. So I think... It, I have to say they're like top eight coffee beans. I tried that this year, so that was a treat. It's a treat. So comparing with this darker roast, it's different experience. Okay, it's not good or bad. It's different. It's just like you are eating nice hamburger versus you are eating a nice uh, Kobe beef. Okay, uh, there's no comparison there because I mean those coffee beans are the one of them. The winner was uh, Hans from Canada. He sent me this coffee beans, pretty much price of Wagyu beef. So yeah, that was incredible. Anyway, uh, let's see here. I'm looking at some, uh, your live chat going. I know you guys talking about the, the coffee roasting at home. You know, coffee roasting at home is a lot of fun. Okay. I highly recommend it. I think the best motion for that is the Be More. Okay, I'm using the Beemore 1600. Yeah, so yeah, Beemore is the, I think that's the ideal machine. I mean, if you want to get into kind of like entry level machine there. I know there is a popcorn poppers out there. I know some people use cast iron, but yeah. I mean, you know, if you're serious about it, make sure to check out Beemore. Okay, hold on a second here. 
uh, uh, comes to my tools this morning. So this is a, 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 the bottomless portafilter port port from Crema. There's a lot of different uh, companies making bottomless portafilter now. And then I'm gonna show, hopefully I'm, go I'm gonna show you another company. Uh, they make this awesome bottomless portafilter. So hopefully if I get it, I'm gonna show you guys that as well, coming week. Anyway, uh, I think we are pretty good this morning. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna jump into Instagram. Uh, show us your copy bar setup if you can. And then uh, if you have any questions or comments, just ask me there, okay? All right, I'm gonna see you guys. If not, I'm gonna see you guys tomorrow morning.